Assalamu alaikum. You might know a non-Muslim person who is very nice and does great things. Maybe that person loves Muslims and Islam and has great morals. Does that person go to hell? The problem is that the initial thought of the question is wrong. The point is not whether their morals are good. Rather, the point is whether they submit to Allah and obey His commands. Do you not see the Buddhists, for example, who worship fire or idols instead of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And they do not worship Allah or submit to Him alone? And the Christians who say that God has a son, they are all ill-mannered towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and insulting Him. So how can their morals be good when they are so ill-mannered towards Allah, even though Allah has given them hearing? in sight and has made everything easy for them, they still disbelieve. Allah says in Surah Al-Kahf, And your Lord treats no one with injustice. Let me give you a small example. Imagine you're taking a physics test at school. The test is comprised of multiple questions and obviously, you are required to answer questions right in order to pass or get an A. But you think that instead of answering the questions to get an A, you say, I'll draw a very beautiful portrait and submit it instead of my test and hopefully I can get an A that way. When the teacher sees the empty paper and the amazing drawing, what grade do you think he'll get? Nothing more than a zero because he did not do what the test creator asked for. So a non-Muslim, no matter how good their deeds were or their drawing, they can't expect themselves to go to Jannah or pass the test because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, in Surah Al-Imran, Indeed, the religion in the sight of Allah is Islam, nothing else. No other religion will be accepted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, And whoever seeks a religion other than Islam, it will never be accepted of him. And in the hereafter, he will be one of the losers. But what if someone has never heard of Islam? Are they also going to hell? Allah says in Surah Al-Isra, verse 15, it is part of the justice of Allah that He does not punish any people until He has first sent a warning to them. And unless there is evidence against them, Allah does not treat anybody unfairly. If a person has never heard of Islam or hasn't been introduced to it at all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test them on the day of judgment. For example, there are so many tribes in South America and probably Africa right now that don't know anything about Islam. They won't go to hell on the day of judgment before a test. If they are truthful, then they will enter Jannah and vice versa. Everybody who hears the message of Islam in a sound and correct form and rejects it will have evidence against them. So to make things clear, there is a criteria in order to enter Jannah and that is witnessing that there is no God except Allah and the Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. And that's it for this video. Assalamu alaikum.